gonna be a full hotel tour of the Hilton Garden Inn in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So as you come in, you have this very, very nice lobby. It's a little sitting area. Front desk over there. A little marketplace or the shop. Here's a little bar, I'm assuming, or a restaurant. And down this way is the conference center. There are some public washrooms, some water fountains. Yeah, this is this, the conference center. There's an exit right there. Now we're gonna head over here and look at the pool, fitness center, and the business center. A little patio there. So you have two computers, a printer, phone, two office chairs, and another chair. There are the elevators down this way. Guest laundry, fitness center, and pool. right through this door. So this is the pool. The hot tub which is closed. You have two washrooms over there and some water fountains, some more chairs, towels, and it goes up to four feet. I'll come back for the fitness center since there's someone working out in there. But I'll look at guest laundry right now. Here's guest laundry, one uh, dryer and one washer. Door doesn't close properly. And some counter space. So there's the fitness center, I'll come back for that. But there's a quick look at it for now. Maybe we better look at the fitness center, since no one is using it. So you have some white balls, I guess. Exercise balls. Towels. Phone. One bike. Two ellipticals, two treadmills. Weights. TV. Some mirrors. Another weight, some water, and a garbage can. It's nice and cool in here. This is a nice fitness center. Thermostat's right here. It's kind of interesting how they have all the amenities back here at the end of the hallway in this little room or 
separate hallway, I guess. Now I'm going to head upstairs and show you the room. Oh, here's ice. Ice come on automatically. There's no vending machine. look nice. And they're in pretty good shape too. Let's tour room 425. So we're going to start off with the security features. We have a deadbolt and a latch. A peephole with a cover on it. And a fire map. Here's your do not disturb sign. Yes. Here's the closet. Decent size. You have some racks with some sort of drawers. There's a little light in here. I'm not sure how you turn it on. There's some hangers, extra sheets ironing board and an iron. Here's the light switch. Now let's look at it with the light. Here's the washroom. has a barn door which does not lock, which is not ideal, but it's not a major complaint, but some people might not like that. So here's the sink with some storage space, some Kleenex, or shampoo and soaps and stuff, some towels, mirror, here's the toilet. Towels, bathtub and the shower, arched shower curtain. It's very well lit in here. So here's the main part of the room. So the bed's here. They feel comfortable. I like that kind of headboard. There's your thermostat. Your phone and alarm clock. Little lamp. Two reading lamps too. It's pretty nice.
have outlets both sides flat screen TV some storage underneath the TV and some more storage right there here's a little place to store some stuff or you could sit there too here's a little area where you have the microwave coffee maker ice bucket, coffee, cups and napkins mini fridge it's pretty small, smaller than usual but it works Here's the desk, an office chair, water, oh, this is probably like room service I'm guessing. Here's a little writing pad. USB and outlet. And a little lamp. Here's the air conditioner. And yes, as I showed you before. Whoa. Um, that falls off. Um, oh, it actually, you can control it here. Actually, I'm not sure. No, never mind, you can. Put that back on this. Hotel is fairly new and that's already broken. It's kind of odd. Whatever, this isn't even used, so it's not a very big complaint, but it's just kind of weird that it would be broken already. Here's the view of the window. There's quite a bit of street noise, actually. You can see downtown over there. Here's a little chair with a lamp right above it with a table or a little table. So I'd say this hotel is very nice. I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to stay here in the Winnipeg area. It is right by Ikea on the Outland Mall. And yeah, so I would recommend this hotel. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tour.